have the undernourished shadow side that we talk about, which um, I think that's a great way because it, it eliminates some of the shame that can go along with looking at those things. But you do talk about sin. You talk about besetting sin. You talk about failure, um, the, the habitual failures of our spiritual journey. I, I think that's a wonderful piece of language. So how do you identify sin? How do you talk about sin and define sin? Well, uh, I, I try to make a distinction between sin in the singular and sins in the plural, uh, which in a sense is sort of a false distinction, but that's, that's what people understand. When, when you say sin to a person, the first thing that comes to their mind is this particular behavior or attitude or what have you. And um, whereas in reality, those are simply symptoms of sin. Sin in its essence is playing God in our life. It's refusing to allow God to be God on God's terms. Then out of that flow all of these behaviors that you know, in various ways are dehumanizing and destructive. Uh, they are you know, sins in that sense. But we spend so much of our time, I think, um, dealing with the symptoms that we never get to the cause. You know, you, well, if you're a Christian, you don't do this, you don't do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. Never really dealing with the underlying reality of, of a, an aberrant relationship with God that manifests itself in those behaviors.